Hi everybody, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the new Kiki K Wellness Planner. Um, I did pick it up on Monday, but unfortunately the one I got wasn't quite perfect. And um, you guys know with my decorating I'm not quite so particular with my planners I really am. So um, it just had a bump in the top and it had some loose stitching on the side so I took it back yesterday and so I've got this now so I can now walk you through it properly and can show you exactly what's in it um, when I went on Monday I did also get a couple other things so I'll share them both with you and then I'll get into the planner so the first thing I got was the weekly good habits pad this was $6.95 I think um, I was really lucky for my birthday yes for my birthday I got um, a $50 Kiki K voucher from my grandma I then also had a $10 voucher from um, for my birthday from Kiki K, and then I also had a, um, a notepad that my mum bought me for Christmas that I already had. So we returned that one, and they gave me that discount as well. So for all these three things, basically, I paid $23, which I'm pretty happy with. So anyway, um, this was $6.95. It goes. It's going to go in my wellness planner. I'll show you where I'm going to put it, basically. Um, really simple just little pad just to try and keep track of my habits the other one I got was the new decoration kit it's beautiful um, metallic kind of stickers so it's got that beautiful copper so you get two pages of stickers and then you get some of these cardboard cutouts which I think are going to be beautiful especially in the wellness planner but in any of the planners I think will be beautiful so those are those ones I will go through I want to go through exactly what's in here. No, I don't. If you do want me to go through it, let me know and I'll I'll do that. And I'll put that before the end of the week as like a bonus video. So let's get into the whole reason why you guys clicked on this video. Let's get into the wellness planner. So as per normal, um, you get the little tag with the elastic-y thingy. You guys have seen, if you look at my family history planner video, I'll put a link to it below for you. You can see how I kind of reused that. So if you are interested in reusing what you've got, that's a way to do it. So then you open up your planner. It's a slide box as per the last couple have been slide boxes. And then you get this beautiful grey planner and it's wrapped in tissue paper, which I've ripped because I was so excited. So it comes in tissue paper and then that is what she looks like. So the problem with the other one was in this top corner there was a really big bulge. There's still a little bulge here, but it's not as big. And some of the stitching down here was loose and I just didn't like it. So we took it back. So we start with, I'll show you the front and the back. So that's the front. There's a little mark on there, but I can clean that off later. And the back. So the back just says, be inspired to live your best life with this wellness planner. Explore, celebrate and set goals for your mind, soul and body and record your vision for the new year ahead. Includes a perpetual calendar, tabs for your mind, nutrition and exercise. Fun exercises to explore the different areas of your well-being, logs, planners and shopping lists, weekly habits pads, pockets and pen loop, and a notepad. So, I'll flip back over. So as per all of the, not all of the planners because they don't all have this push button, but as per the ones I always get, we've got the push button, it's a little gold, but it's sort of, this is a different, they're the same kind of gold, but the rings on the inside are almost a, a silver gold, it's a bit funny. Um, so when you open it up, I haven't opened this at all yet, so I'm sort of, as it's coming, I'll, I'll take things out. Um, so you've just got this little reminder here saying to open by pressing down on here. Um, and then the same, I'm unique kind of things. Um, and that's good. It just says to keep clean by wiping with a damp cloth. I'll do that in a minute. Um, and then you've got just some extra bits. Now you will notice, so on the inside, sorry, it's this beautiful teal material. Um, Two of my other planners are mint, teal kind of colours, so I love this. I think it's beautiful. We have gone back to the zip closure. I am so happy for this. It's the whole reason why I didn't really like a couple of the other planners. It's why the, um, the Be Brave range, the blue textured planner that I have, the perforated one, I don't like it as much because it doesn't have this zip. So I'm so glad I brought the zip back. So you've got your pocket behind it. Then you've got your zip, and then you've got another pocket here, and then you've got your three business card ones, and then you've got your weekly good habits here. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put this, 
I'm going to put it sideways so that it's that like that. But I'll use this one up first and we'll see what happens from there. So you've got that there. Then you've got on the inside here. Sorry, I'm just going to get the little silica gel bit out. Um, so and then on the other side, as per normal, you've got your pen loop on this side. And then at the back, you have a notepad. I'll take this off too while I'm here. same old notepad it's not terribly updated or anything like that take this cardboard bit off too so as you can see it does come with a bit of packaging but I don't actually think that's a bad thing right so let's get into the guts of it as I said you've got a slightly it, it doesn't look to me gold or silver it kind of looks like a combination so I like the rings so the first tab you've got here these are all done with gold writing and it's not I don't know how you explain what they are they're kind of not printed on it they're kind of printed into it does that make any sense whatsoever like you can actually feel that so it's a little bit higher quality I guess than the normal tabs uh, they are all white though which I'm not quite sure yet I like but we're gonna give it a shot so the first one is the calendar and the front just says do what you love and do it often so you get three pages of stickers as per normal um, which are just sort of from the inspiration range if you've got the inspiration paper lovers book if you've got the inspiration sticker book or if you've got the little sticker book that came in the planner kit that's basically what these are um, pardon me I have done walkthroughs of that sticker book that paper lovers book um, and I think I did that other one below so um, that other one as well so I will link them below if you want to have a quick squiz so you got your first page here is your personal information so that's the boring part I guess I'm not going to read everything, but I, I will sort of show you what each of the pages are. So this first one is sort of an introduction to the planner. I won't read it out. You can zoom in if you really want to read it. Um, but it just sort of says just take some time to read through each tab and then set your goals. So don't sort of go in going, I know what I'm doing. Kind of have a look at it first. So this first one here is my 2016 wellness vision. When they talk about wellness, I'm pretty sure they're not talking about just fitness. They're trying to, to kind of do your whole self wellness. So I think, and you'll see in a minute, like you've got your mind, nutrition, exercise, weekly reflection. They're trying to make you use this as a bit of a, a all rounder thing. So I guess you have to sort of go into it thinking like that. So anyway, um, so you've got your wellness vision up here and then three goals that will have the biggest positive impact on my life. And then it's got how to set goals on that one. And then it's got your actual calendar. So it's just sort of after setting your goals, plan out your month using the calendars below. And then it gives you an example, which I think is really cool that they give you an example. Um, the way I'm sort of going to use this is because I do still have my weekly planner, which I'm not getting rid of. I'm kind of, the calendar to me kind of becomes superfluous. But it's a good way to track what I've done. So, or what I'm plan, what I'm planning to do. I quite don't quite know how I'm going to work this out yet, but we'll get there. Um, something I will note: the paper quality of this planner is slightly better than the regular one. It's a little bit thicker, and obviously it's printed in colour, so it's it's really really pretty. Actually, I'm a bit impressed with just the quality of the paper. So then you've got, I think it's twelve. I don't know, one, two, three, and they are different colours and they've got different quotes on them. Yeah, so you've got 12. So basically this will take you through 12 months. So if you get this now-ish, you can obviously start it in January. But if you didn't, if you didn't get it until sort of February, March, you can just start it from there. You don't have to start any particular month. So the next tab here is the My Day tab. And the front of it says to be happy is a choice we make. Basically these are all imprints from the Inspiration range. They are beautiful. I, yeah. You guys know I don't usually use tabs from the Kiki K range I usually pull them out and use new ones I may keep these ones these ones are really nice so this one here is the daily notes pad so it just says organize your day each morning the night before with your daily notes pad so it they give you an example again which I think is really cool so they have today is the perfect day for weekly goals reward to do hours slept last night time for me walk today's exercise top three priorities today's meals water intake and it has like a reflection like I'm grateful for 
and the one thing I'm going to tomorrow that will bring me closer to my goals. So you've got a bunch of these. This is the part that I think you'll need to replace very quickly. Like if you do use this every day, there's only I think 30 here. So it's only going to get you through a month. So that's the part you're going to have to replace first, I think. I have to have a look when we get further through. Um, this is going to be the hardest part for me to actually use. Remembering to do this every day will be the hardest part. But I'm going to try. I am going to try. So the next one here is weekly reflection. It says nothing happens unless first we dream, which is still one of the best quotes ever. So this is a weekly reflection. So you get a double page and you just reflect on your week. Again, you get about, I think you get 50, oh, maybe you do. You might get 30 or 40. I'm not going to count them out. So it probably won't get you through the whole year, but it would get you close. Um, so it just has the date. Obviously, this is for the week, so you'd do week commencing or week ending, whichever one you want to do. Um, it's got right now I'm feeling, in three words, this week was, what I achieved this week in nutrition, exercise, and mind and soul. And you've got, and then you've got what I learnt as well. So you've got a, this is what I did, and this is what I've learned. Then you've got to check in with how am I tracking with my goals? What can I, what held me back this week, and how can I change it? Habits I'd like to change or start, and next week I'm going to. So this is a good thing to do maybe on a Sunday night, sit down, give yourself 20 minutes to just sort of go, this is how my week went. So maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to do that. And as you can see, like the, the blank pages, so the ones that I'm ordinarily, they've, they've planned this really well, like that they don't sort of have this starting. Sorry, I'm just going back. They don't sort of have this starting here. They have actually had it lined out so it sits exactly where it needs to be for you to see everything for that week, which sometimes I think they don't do quite so well. And then you're always left with a blank page. So there you go, you've got a, a ready-made decorating page. You can do anything you like on that and you've already got a background. It's awesome. So the next one is Mind. It says joy is not in things, it is in us. And just sort of says this is just, it is just as important to take care of your mind as it is to take care of your body. So it's got tips on this side to get you started. And then it's got another beautiful quote here. And then it does that just again. It starts out like this. So it, I think this whole section, I'm just having a squiz. This is just a whole, it's not like a daily task. It's just an overall thing. So it, it sort of asks you questions and prompts you to fill them in. So how much time do you spend on yourself? It's so important to make time to rest, rejuvenate and nourish your mind and soul. I'm not going to read all of it. Um, but I'll read you the questions. What do you love to do just for you? What helps you relax and rejuvenate? Makes to make a list. What can you welcome more time for you? Hold on. How can you welcome more time for you into your life? I thought that sentence didn't make sense. Um, what are your hobbies? What have you always loved doing but haven't found the time for lately? Make a list below and make time for one today. So that'd be a good one to sort of, if you had something you've always wanted to do, write it down and then tick it off as you do them. So it'll, it's a anyone that plans makes lists so this is a good way to plan things just for you and then when you sort of go oh, okay I need to do something just for me today what do I want to do flick to this section and go oh I can do that and um, what hobby or activity are you going to do today I think that's kind of useless if you have this one but anyway um, and what are you passionate about you deserve to make time for the things that give your life meaning and purpose what gives your life meaning so another sort of list one that you got there got another quote here so this is a mindfulness exercise. Um, so it's it's basically, I, don't, I get the mindfulness stuff, but it sort of, it seems to be something that I get why people do it, but I don't know if I can. So basically you just check in with your senses. I can see, I can hear, I can smell, I can feel, I can taste. There's only one of those though. So I don't quite know how you use that on a regular basis, but anyway, that's what's in there. Another quote one. You've got daily mindful, <clears throat> daily mindfulness moments. A simple but effective way to foster mindfulness is to designate three actions in your day as your mindfulness moments. So examples could be brushing your teeth, having your breakfast, the moment you step outside when you're making a morning cup of coffee or taking a moment outside on your lunch break. So it then gives you the space to what are your three designated daily mindfulness moments. So I guess you could write them down and then check in every day with your tasks to go are you doing your mindfulness moments um, the next one is a paper meditation basically it's just making a paper heart don't quite get it but okay um, and the next one is mindfulness moods 
I, I, it's got sort of your your cloud, like your happiness to sad kind of range. So I, again, I don't really understand what you do here, but it's got tired or energetic, emotional, calm, unhappy, happy, distracted, focused, pessimistic, optimistic, strained, and relaxed. And I guess you sort of tick where you're feeling, but I don't get how you use that every day either. I have to have a better read of this part. So you've got another quote there. You've got gratitude stuff. So things that make you happy, put them in there. Yeah, okay. Um, and who are you grateful for? Make a list below and then let loved ones know you're thinking of them by sending them a card. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah. So then you've got a reverse bucket list. So a bucket list is everything you want to do or achieve. A reverse bucket list is a way to express gratitude for the wonderful moments you've already experienced. So write down anything that you've done that you've really enjoyed, put it down here and that way you've seen, and then when you do the other things, you can put them down too. Then you've got mind and soul goals. So what would you do to help nourish your mind and soul? Take a moment to think about what helps you relax, de-stress and feel renewed. And it's got an example of that. So your goal might be, and is this one, meditate for five minutes every day. And it's got, why do you want to do it? How are you going to do it? How will I measure it? And what you will get as a reward if you do it. So, and it's also got like a box that you can tick off. So there are nine, ten, ten of those. So that gives you almost something to do every month. Some of them obviously can be longer term. The next tab here is nutrition. So it says do something today that your future self will thank you for so this has got tips again to start and it's got another quote and then you've got some goals so same thing as in the mindfulness one you've got your nutrition goals why do I want to achieve it how how will I measure and what my reward is I think you've got ten of these as well no you've only got six no hold on stuck ten you have ten and then you've got your meal planner this is something I'm really looking forward to using so you've got your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and your snack. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very simple. Mine's basically going to be the same thing every day. Um, so I think there's not quite... I don't know how many we got here. You obviously don't have to do these every week. You can do them sort of... You can do four of them and switch between them or something like that. But you've got about ten sheets of those. Then you've got your daily food log. You don't have as many of these. So this is another one that you're probably going to go through pretty quickly. Um, so you've just got your daily food log, what you ate, what your snack was, what your lunch, and it's a, this one I'm really looking forward to using because the thing I found on diets before or when I'm look, watching what I'm eating before is I eat all my proper meals fine, breakfast is fine, lunch is fine, but somehow a big handful slash whole bag of M&Ms managed to magically end up in me and I haven't written it down because I don't want to admit that I did it. That's lying to yourself. It's cheating. It's not going to help anybody. You actually have to write that down. Um, so I like having to be accountable like this. I like it better when someone looks at it and yells at you if you do something wrong. But we can't have everything. So the other section in the nutrition bit is your shopping list. Basically, it's just that. It's just a shopping list. It's not anything particularly exciting. It is printed on this beautiful coloured paper though, which I do like. Um, but it's split up into fruit and vegetables, meat, dairy and pantry. There is no section for chocolate. Sorry about that. They do not have a section there for chocolate slash treats slash other things you may like. But you can always add it at the bottom of the fruit and vegetables. Chocolate's a fruit, right? Maybe not. So the next tab here is your exercise tab. It says don't say no, say how. And it's just tracking. It gives you tips to get you started. I really like that they give you tips. I think that's a really good idea. And for someone... Like, if, if you lived out in the country, I'm lucky I live in a reasonably metropolitan kind of area. I have a bunch of places around me that can help. I have a gym. I have, if I wanted to, I've got a Weight Watchers or anything like that. If you lived out in the country and there wasn't a gym or there wasn't somewhere that you could go, these sort of tips are actually going to help a lot. So I, I think that's a really good idea. So you've got another quote page there. You've got your fitness goals, which is exactly the same as the other ones. And you've got 10 of those as well. And then you've got your exercise log. I love this. This is going to be really good. Um, so you've got your, and this is the example one, you've got all the days down the side. You've got your activity slash muscle groups. So it could be circuit training. It could be yoga. It could be a walk. Um, how long it was. 
your sets slash your distance. So if it if you're doing weights, it might be six sets at five kilos, whatever it might be. Um, if you've got your walk, like they've got here, six point four k's. That's a big walk. Um, how many calories you burnt? Depending on how how you're doing your diet, the calories may or may not be important. And then you've got your completed. Your calories also get added up at the bottom, which is pretty cool. So you've got a bunch of pages of those. I think you're going to use those reasonably quickly too. That's probably about a month's worth. So yeah. And then you've got your beautiful decoration page at the back. And then you've got a notes one at the back. It doesn't actually have anything on the tab, so you could make this one anything you like. Life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself is the quote. And you do, you just have a bunch of notes pages at the back. As I said earlier though, this paper is so much better than the regular Kiki K paper. Like it's not, I'm just going to pull it out. It's going to be a bit stiff because it's never been opened. There you go. So you can just peer in that paper quality. Like, hold on, I'll shut up. That might help. That's thick paper. That's not the thin paper that Kiki K usually get. So I think in that respect, like this is proper A5 paper. It's that kind of density. So I think they've upped their game a little bit on this one. So I, I really like this. And then you've got your notes paper at the back. That's better quality as well. Not as good as the pages, but it's better than some of the other notepads have been. So that is the wellness planner. Overall, okay, let's... Do I love it? Yes, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I, I love the grey and the teal. You guys know already I love teal. So this was always going to be a killer for me. Am I happy I got it? Yes, I'm very happy I got it. Am I going to use it? There's the hard part. Because I am so bad at this. Like I've I've been on weight loss journeys, I've been on and I I'm an I'm a yo-yo dieter, I lose a lot and then I put a lot back on. It's it's terrible. What I like about this one is that it's not it isn't just a, a diet thing. It's not just a make your body look good. They are thinking about your head as well, which I, I like that. I like that approach to it. Um, so this is something that I am going to try and do, guys. I'm going to keep you updated. You guys are kind of going to be my check-in people, and you need to get mad at me if I fail. No, don't. Don't get mad at me if I fail. But you need to sort of... I'd, I'd love... If anyone's interested in sort of doing this along with me, I'd love to hear from you. We can sort of sort something out, um, and we can sort of check in on my channel. That would be fantastic. I think that would be a great idea. Um, if anyone's interested in that, leave me a comment below or send me a message and we'll see how we go. Um, I am going to be doing some decorating of this, not excessively so because I think a lot of it's already very pretty. I am going to stay with the tabs for now. I may decorate the tabs a little bit. I may get some stuff out of my Paper Lovers book. I may get some stickers out of here. Um, but I thought I will decorate. Will I do as much decorating as normal? Probably not. Um, but what I'm sort of thinking I might do, and, and let me know below if you think this is something you'd be happy to look at or would, would watch, um, sort of doing like a weekly check-in with how I'm doing with my mindfulness planner, wellness planner, whatever it's called, um, like doing a weekly update of, hey, this is what I did this week kind of thing. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. If you're not interested, I won't do it, but um, that'd be a way to keep myself accountable and maybe give you guys something interesting to look at. So that is my review of the Wellness Planner, guys. Please keep an eye out in the next couple of days and weeks and I will do updates on this one. I might show you how I decorate some of these or how I'm using it, how I'm going. So keep an eye out. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.